What's up guys, kiwij 3000 here, and welcome back to part 6 of Let's Play Mirror's Edge. So in this part, we're going to be going to the New Eden Mall to meet Ropeburn's other contact. Now I believe at the, at the end of the last part, I had said that the next level was pretty hard. Or not hard, uh, long. Well, it's actually not, and that's because I hadn't, uh... I said that because I hadn't practiced it a lot. Now I have, and I think it's actually going to be a pretty short part. Again, I don't want to do the next level because even though it is probably about the same length as this, I just, I don't want to risk it, like, going so long because I don't want to make, like, if I make too many mistakes, I don't want to, you know, have to... Have to have a half hour part. That would suck. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. Get down track four to the next access stairway. Should be an alley this is uh very similar to the end of the last level where we had to get past the trains. I'm just gonna wait here. I don't really have much else to say right now. But I'm sure stuff will come up later in the level that I'll be able to comment on. Oh yeah, there is uh, one little thing I want to point out at the end of this elevator ride. Kind of a glitch. This elevator is now under FPC control. Please remain calm and something that I couldn't read. Okay, now when you exit that elevator, like, as you're going forward, for some reason, it, like, resets your controls, so, like, you have to, if you're, like, if you're holding left thumbstick, you know, forward, uh, you'll just stop, and then you'll have to press it forward again in order to get going again. I don't understand why the control, like, resets itself. It happens every time you step out of that elevator. Like, or every time I've practiced this, uh, that's been the case. Every time. So, it's little things like that that they should have probably patched back when this game was, uh, new. Oh! Oh, wow. I thought I would have died there. Okay, so we have a few, uh, police guys that we gotta take down, and we have to take them down, because it's pretty much impossible, I think, to get through this part without taking them down. Alright. How did this guy get taken down? I don't think I did anything to him. Well, I'll take it. Okay, so this part we have to go through an elevator shaft. You're doing good. Mall's just a few blocks ahead. Uh it's kind of tricky at the end here. You have to do a backwards jump to the open elevator doors. And, well, let's just see if I get it. Close.
Okay, this part's kind of tricky. But I'm lucky this time, thankfully. You, ha you have to keep up your momentum there, or else uh, you're definitely gonna not make the jump if you don't have the momentum. There's not really much to say right now. I mean... I've said pretty much every miscellaneous thing there is to say about this game. You know, like gameplay and stuff. Trying to think what's going on, like, currently. Uh, well, at the time of recording this, I have not seen Logan yet, the new Wolverine movie. I'm probably gonna see it tomorrow at the time of recording this. Uh, might do a review of it. I don't know, uh, I'm trying to think of other stuff to say, uh, I'm actually really liking 24 Legacy, even though a lot of people kind of aren't. I mean, if you're not a 24 fan, then you're not gonna really understand any of this, but, like, the new character, Eric Carter, since, uh, Jack Bauer is not in this one, uh, I think he's doing a pretty good job of holding his own. You know, Corey Hawkins, who plays him. I think he's doing a pretty good job, actually. Like, I mean, obviously he's not Jack. You know, he doesn't have the... You know, he doesn't have the history with him, but... You know, if they're gonna keep this going for more seasons, then, uh... He could definitely build up his own, you know, backstory and cool well, moments. Like, I think the character has potential. Anyways, finally back to, uh, Mirror's Edge now. Uh, so that's the, uh, contact. Do not go forward, because there are a lot of police. You will die immediately if you try to go forward. So we're gonna have to get away from all of them. God damn it. I hate- I hate the whole, uh, fall damage thing and how you misjudge if something's gonna hurt you. I mean, I talked about that a couple parts ago, but it's still- it's still bullshit. So in here, there's, uh, another fan. You obviously don't want to go down there until you hit this button. Now, you have to wait until it's come to a complete stop. One of my practice runs had me, uh, going through when it was about this slow. Like, I mean, really slow. Like, pretty much at the end. And it still killed me instantly. So you have to wait until it's completely stopped. Anyways, uh, one last room here. 
One last major room, at least. Just wait for the glass to get shot out. Come on, shoot the glass. No, nope, I'm not gonna make it. I made it. Wow. I can't believe I made that. I was so not in line with the catwalk. Anyway, so... That's, uh... Pretty much the end of the level, more or less. Just a couple more quick rooms here. No more enemies. Should be one last door and you're out of there. Yep, what Merc said. Looks like my little friend is back. You think he's the assassin? I don't know, but I think I know someone who does. Hey, Faithy. Nice of you to drop by. With a little bit of persuasion, Ropeburn was pretty chatty. Told me about his meeting with Pope's killer at the mall. And you're thanking me, right? <laughs> but when I got there, guess who was waiting for me? No idea, Faithy. I just go there for the pretzels. Bad case of the blues. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, Faithy! It wasn't me! Besides, if I wanted you dead, don't you think I would have just killed you myself? You're right. A creep like you couldn't have organized- Now, don't be like that. Ropeburn's dead. I'm impressed. Wasn't me. You need to be careful who you hang around with. Oh, I learned that a long time ago. And yet, here we are again. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this little meeting short, Faye. Places to be, you know how it is. Try not to get yourself killed. Merc. Merc, you can stop pretending not to listen now. <laughs> What's up? Can you do a search on Perundello Kruger security? On it. Why do you ask? Been seeing their name around. In Ropeburn's office and somewhere else. Distinctive logo. Getting anything? Mm, just what you'd expect. Alarms, fencing, armored cars, private security. Oh, and they secure our world, apparently. Where are they based? A few offices around town. Just got a new place down near the docks. Get me some coordinates. I'm gonna go check it out. Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. Loading bay should be a way in. Okay, so that'll do it for part six. Uh, next time we will go to uh, Pirandello Kruger, the security firm, and see if we can figure out what's going on with this whole thing and figure out uh, who the assassin is. So thank you guys for watching part six. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in part seven. So until then, peace out.